guys got to help me figure this out. So a couple months ago, I pre-ordered a C8 Corvette, as some of you know. I made a little video about it. But then I got impatient and I wanted some fast shit, so I went and copped the Tesla Model 3 Performance. I ended up loving that car. I got no car now because I paid for it in cash. My insurance is 200 bucks a month, and I don't spend more than 80 bucks a month on charging, so it's basically like I got no car expenses. But this looks a lot cooler. I for real don't know if it's worth it if it's my only car. It might be something I gotta wait until I get a cyber truck. You guys gotta let me know if you wanna see SK and the C8, because depending on how this rental goes, I might just pop out with me. I don't know, we'll see. Why? Wow. Grocery shopping with SK, come on. Approved strawberries. My girlfriend does this for me most of the time. But I had to pop out and show you guys how to grocery shop real quick. When we came out of the grocery store, this guy came up to us and just started taking photos of us with his Polaroid camera. And he's actually turned out crazy. But so far, do you think this is intriguing you to buy buy a C8 for yourself or what? No, here's the thing. Everything about the C8 is so much cooler looking than the Tesla. But the Tesla is so much quicker and more fun to drive. And I don't got to worry about shit because it's cheap and it's under warranty. And if anything happens, it's easy to fix. No oil change, no maintenance. I get a car that's just as fast as this, but at the same time, it doesn't make noise like this. I don't know. I don't know for real. We're trying to figure it out. It's crazy because the Tesla is actually like you really step on the gas and this shit takes a second to go. And the Tesla really just goes. I might be stuck to a Tesla for life based off of that because I really just like to drive quick. I don't really care about driving reckless. I just like being faster than everybody. And the Tesla does that for a very great price. But I don't know for real because the issue is if I get a C8 as my only car, I'm gonna have a really hard time taking packages to the post office and just in general me my girlfriend my dog my cat it's not really a good family vehicle so i might have to go for the cyber truck over this just because it's a better tax write-off i don't know for real because i really like how the c8 looks Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wow, uh, life at SK. We just put out to Area 31. It's a rooftop restaurant in Miami. About to cook up some designs and get some food. Salmon taco. It's really not looking that promising, but we're about to find out. It's for sure edible. But I don't think I'll reorder. Why not, SK? Let me know. What are you thinking? See, the salmon isn't bad, but I don't. Salmon on a taco, not for SK. I like salmon and rice. Sushi. For sure. For sure. Respectable, man. Respect, respect. Fish and chips. I only eat salmon. So I'm, this might not go up because I have no. You know what kind of fish this is? This doesn't really taste like fish, but it actually tastes pretty good. We're here a little bit late, so they're sold out of all the other stuff we wanted. So this is all we got. Some fries. Unfortunately. The SK, enough talk about the fish and chips. What about them truffle fries, man? Let me know. Right, let's see what these truffle fries are talking about. For 20 bucks I could complain. But besides that, they taste good. So I don't really care. I'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10. You hear that? Truffle fries from Area 31 are SK approved. <laughs> nah, not for real. This is some mid appetizers, but <laughs> I fuck with the spot. I'm just trying to cook up some designs. Yeah, just no. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, The food, that salmon, low key, I'm gonna give that one, that was a 7.5, and I'm picky as fuck. So, like, no, the salmon is good. It no, just doesn't make sense as a Yeah, topic. like, just like other meats would obviously be better, you feel me? I don't know. I'm Hispanic, so I don't know, man. I just, anyways, the fish and chips, though. My what? only problem with them shits is why are they so small, bro? You feel me? Like, I feel like this I ordered appetizers. This is eat a meals. fish and chip. Eat oh, this, drinks, this is an appetizer. And eating some appetizers. I thought this was dinner. That's on me, though. Look. Mmm. Man, these, mm. these fries is mid. The trouble fries is really not that bad though. No, 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 no. Don't listen to this guy. These fries, these fries are salted just perfectly, right? Could be a little crispier, but this, I don't know if this is tartar sauce. I don't know. That's what usually serve with fish and chips where I'm from. But that shit with the fries is good. If he's approving the fries, they're approved because this guy grew up on burgers and fries. Oh burgers. yeah, man. Just know, just know. All right, now we're giving the trouble fries. A try. Gave it a little dip, you feel me? To be honest, man, <laughs> I'ma say it because I'm real. I'm. You don't got an no cap. acquired taste. No cap for in truffle, my rap. Right? You're not. You haven't gotten that kind of money. You don't know. No, yes, truffle. I, bro. Just know, bro. Whenever I be going out. This is what I be spending on, you feel me? I might not dress nice, none of that, bro, but just know I be eating well, and it shows, you feel me? I be trying truffle. Truffle just isn't like my <laughs> forte. You got fucking lettuce in your beard. <laughs> I actually, why didn't you tell I me? I didn't notice, I didn't notice, I'm sorry. And I have shit all over my hands, so I'm gonna hand me a napkin. This is my younger brother, half sibling, but we grew up together, but same mom. Yeah, so it's like, bro, like, and Dude's all, got a whole beard. All, both of our siblings, or both of us, like all of our siblings are half siblings. So like, we don't know the difference between like a half sibling and like a full sibling. You feel me? It's the same shit to us. So like, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like it doesn't make a difference, but yeah. You know what? Let me cook right now. Let me cook. Yeah. Yeah. What do you just do? Why French fries? That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, just know. Just know. I didn't see the vision, but now I see the vision. Why, man? You feel me? I have an SK. 
some good food. We're waiting for the valet to pull up right now. Right here at the water. I need to cop a jet ski for real. So if I stay living in Miami, I'm gonna cop a jet ski. I'm gonna be on the water all day long, living my best life. Jet ski coming soon. I tried to pay for the VIP parking. They can put my shit right where that, whatever it is. Cash on. All I got is Amex on. And I'm stuck here waiting for half an hour. Miami Ballet is too slow. Let me know, one through 10, area 31. I'm talking the food, the vibes, everything. That place is just a spot to chill, get some work done, have some appetizers. And if you like to drink, then drink. For sure, man. I mean, I fucked with it, it was my first time there. I thought it was good vibes and all that. If you live in Miami, if you got good suggestions for me for food, I love eating out. Let me know in the comments. I need that. What's happening, SK? Bro, the supplier scammed the fuck out of me. And right now I'm working on getting my other half of my money back. Cause they've helped me get half of it, but the other half, it's not looking too good right now. I be building a crazy case. Damn. <laughs> Close their whole account. So one day I woke up and I saw this after I knew they were on some shit. All of a sudden, sorry, this account has been closed. Please take note of the relevant risks. Yeah, they got my ass. Got to fly to China and catch Nancy Lou <laughs> whacking. Oh, look at this shit. I'm, I'm on to Nancy Lou, bro. No. <laughs> I got it. All right, so we got a profile photo. We got her personal Instagram. She started working for a skid steer loader company. She Crazy. ditched the clothing. I'm coming for you, Nancy Lou. Bro, did you hire a private detective or something, dog? No, I, I'm, I'm working on it. Before I got half my money back, I was literally looking at private investigators, but I think I can get this done by myself. SK is the private detective, just know. Yeah. This shit's just annoying because it's just a whole bunch of waiting around. The last disputes I had to do, it took literally months every day just responding to them. So that's probably what's going to happen for these ones too. So we'll see how it goes. We have my neurologist appointment right now. Gotta get updates on my test results. Make sure I'm not dying. Quick little errand run. I need to grab a toothbrush. And I need to go spray the car. I don't give a fuck. I'm risking my life Bye. for life at SK. We just pulled up to Best Buy. My old electric toothbrush crashed out on me. So I gotta go pick up a new one right now. So that's what I'm on. I'm sorry bro, it's really hard to keep the camera stable and keeping up with your fast ass walking. Slow it down, buddy. Every time I come to Best Buy, I forget my stick. Can't catch SK laughing. SK, you're back on the grind now. What do the returning viewers of Life of SK get to expect with these next couple videos? I'm just trying to lock in. We got new products being manufactured. I'm really excited for my new hoodies and shit. You know, changing up the style a little bit. And bro, I hated having my girlfriend film my videos because it doesn't give the same vibe. But now that I got my brother on the camera, it's just like, I told him, keep the camera rolling. Whatever we do, Daniel getting paid from this. He get 50% of all my revenue. So make sure yeah. to like this video and subscribe. Hell yeah, guys, I need to eat. Food ain't cheap. Shout out to SK for supporting me. The way this channel is going to work now, 
times I wake up, Daniel wakes up, he drives the camera, he films life at SK. SK doesn't have to think about YouTube, he can focus on his business, TikTok, Instagram, and Daniel will be running YouTube for me. So, that's what you can expect. This the one. Oh yeah? Uh, I've been moving around like every year the past four years. I lived in Los Angeles for two years. Then I lived in Texas for six months. And now I'm in Miami. And I think that I'm gonna stay in Miami. But I don't know, cause I'm really trying to buy land in the middle of nowhere and just start building slowly. So if I do end up staying in Miami, I think I'm moving to South Beach. Right now I live in like downtown Brickell area. And that's where I thought that my dream Miami location was. But now after living there, I think I wanna live in South Beach. Yeah, just thoughts of SK. That's where we're at right now, South Beach. We just built this new apartment over here in the corner. You can't see it, but that's what got me thinking about it. Are you good? Yeah. I didn't know you lived in Miami. Yo, I could take a picture with you? Hell yeah. Yo. Put that shit, bro. Yeah, My homeboy it. bought like hella shit from you. I didn't got the bread for it. Stay up, bro. Hey, you too, bro. Wow, a supporter just pulled up on us while I'm waiting for three. Bro doesn't even know I'm here, but he just landed in Miami, he got off house arrest, so I tracked him down. I'm about to surprise him right now. I'm looking like, well, who the fuck is that? That's K. South Beach area. And I started driving. You can't answer my call. call. No, because I hit you and you didn't respond, so I'm like, fuck, I'm going to just pull up then. Then I seen you text me tomorrow, I just now woke up. I said, this nigga oh, already on Miami time. What's the word, bro? What's up? I don't know, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Studio session gonna be fired. I'll fuck around, hop on that mob. You hear me? I'll be three trials. You hear me? Three felonies. You gotta talk your shit. I gotta talk my shit now, like, you feel me? Like, on the box since October, fighting the striker case since June. Day court, day court, they like, Whole time they know I'm innocent though, like. Close that door. Tell them all whoever left. Look, we spent 10,000 on rentals. 10,000 on shit, man. We spent 10,000 on rentals, man. Tell my brother, man. What's up, man? You were supposed to be with us the last couple of days. I've asked it. I side with three. Mom, man. With the bros. I gotta get a couple fences, shit. I'm pretty cheap, better run now. 